video. Today's episode, we're actually going to go pick up two new things. One for the team, and one for myself. And right now, before we get into all that, we are actually working on the new car. I haven't told y'all anything about it, but I think now is time I disclose it, because the next episode, we'll be racing it. So, well, it might be the next episode after, I don't know. But we're actually doing a, this is a 2018 car. Small tire slick, 632 big block nitrous, and the car name is going to be Bad Apple. Because you know the Bad Apple racing, so we got to have the car name Bad Apple. So we're actually going to call it quits here, and me and the boys here, we're actually going to take a trip down to Polito. Actually, right here where the trailers were made, right here. To, right here, that is where they'll be sitting. They'll be sitting at 1015, y'all. So, with that being said, we're going to go in the house, we're going to get some food real quick because we're a little hungry, and then we'll catch you on the road. Alright y'all, so we are now coming up into Pluto Bay, coming to the factory, which is actually right on the left hand side here, on the right side is Fallout Shop. So, Fallout didn't know I was getting any trailers made before, he would have been over here snooping. Can we know how you're I would have. Snooper. Let's, let's go ahead and park the truck real quick y'all. Oh, take the seatbelt off. I had it off. I had it on, apparently. Oh, yeah. I had it off, so let's take the seatbelt. All right, back off. There we go. So right here is a 53-foot 2024 just plain Jane. It's got some LEDs on the side, two awnings, fully extend. It's got the LEDs on the back. And if we go inside the side door here, as you see, there's two side doors. We have, a, we have a good bay here. We can shove one comfortably car in here, one in a golf cart. And here we have duct tape being worked on. We have duct tape when this guy was racing me and then going all crazy and I wrecked it. We got mm -hmm. Warrior, which is RIP for Warrior because we are no longer racing that. Warrior again. We have, we have YB racing dolo here we have the fairmont we have the old team and we have yv again so i sent i went ahead and sent these pictures to the guys so that way they can put them on the trailers for me because we are picking up two trailers y'all this one's for myself and it's got a little kitchen area in the front two beds little little tune little computer up in here but that's not the one that we care about we care about it we're gonna go so go home and throw some stickers on it but if we walk over here, y'all, where they set this place, we, uh, LJ's already snooping it out. Maybe. We have a 53-foot stacker, dude. We can fit four cars in here. It's the same setup as that, but if you walk in the front, it is way taller, so we might add bunk beds in here because we can. Same thing in the front, but if we go to the, uh, if you don't move, if we go I'm to the, the bathroom, rear, we have a fancy lift here. Oh. Oh, 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 back inside. And I went ahead and sent him some more pictures, so let's go through them real quick. We have Colts, um, uh, Falcon. We have this Falcon again. We have Jaden's car. We have Quilk's car. We have YB's new Blazer, which is in the in the works right now, getting built by Jaden. Jaden's actually the chassis guy in server. Like the race car builder. We have the Fairmont. We have this SRC's Nova. Have, I'm stuck in have, the corner. We have the new secret build, y'all. There, there's a little spoiler. That is what we're working with for duct tape, y'all. That is what we're working with. Right here, we have LJ's rat rod, which actually, if I take this lift all the way up, your truck fits in here. I know, I'm stuck in the corner, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's a little weird. We got Hazard's Camaro. But with that all being said, y'all. Oh, if I can get out. Let's grab the truck and hook up, so... Uh, Fall, if you would hop in the 53-foot non-stacker and get right out of it real quick so it doesn't delete it, and I will hook up to the 53-foot stacker. Since I have the dual and you have the single wheel. Yeah. Oh, I'll need to wait for LJ to get in. Oh, I got coming in. Why did I... Why are you getting in the back door? You want to go to sleep? You slept the whole way here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't want you in the truck yet anyway. I didn't want you in the truck anyway. 
Ow. Oh, look, let me go ahead and put the tailgate down. Up. Up. <laughs> wow, it doesn't want me to hook up to it. Up. Back there it up. Come on. Come on. I'm working on it, bud. I just ripped the. I Jesus. think you need. I think you need some airbags. She's a little heavy. I don't think we're getting home. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't think we're getting home. Hold on, y'all. We are going to have to fix something here. I have no. I know the exact issue we're having right now. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we got the 450 hooked up to the 53 foot. So my luck is just not good. I blew the airbags on the 450, and I blew the airbags on, well, I would say I blew it, I mean, you know, I was driving, but we blew the uh, airbags out on it. So we're going to have to try and get to the house, which is actually just right over the hill there, take these trailers home and park them, and we'll get new airbags for these. But I'm not going to keep y'all waiting. This is more of an information video and short video. So we'll catch you at the house with the brand new trailers. All right, y'all. So we got the 50, both 53 foot apart. So let's go ahead and give you an update for the rest of the video so we have some time. We have my 2015 stacker, which is actually a 28 foot. It could fit two cars and a golf cart or a fuller, whatever we want. We have our brand new 2024 53 foot enclosed, which can fit one car and a golf cart. And it has a living quarters in the front. It's, and it's just like the white one we had back in midnight, but I sold that one when I left, and we bought this one. This one's pretty sick. I love it. Right here, we traded that white top trailer I had. I don't think I have a pig. If I did, I'll post it. <clears throat> but it was a... Oh, God. I don't know what year it was. Y'all. It was an older model. This is a 2021 20, model right here. It's not brand new, but it has LEDs right there. It's got lights that go all the way under here is pretty sick and it's a dovetail so i like this one way better already it drives some nice and so we traded well i want to say we traded we sold the white trailer and bought this one this one's a little bit more since it's a dovetail right here is our 2024 53 foot stacker edition this can fit four cars because i got the garage space to specs has all the pictures of cars here and in the front, it has living quarters. We're not going to show you that right now because it's the same as that one. We have the the little bumper pull trailer right here. It's 20, like a little 20-footer here. Just something I can take something to. We sold the 28-foot enclosed, which is the uh, one we had that was triple axle. It wasn't this one right here. This one right here is actually the main race one, the bumper pull enclosed. Like, I can fit two cars in here. If I don't want to take the stack, I want to take this. Because this actually can fit. It's actually better. You know what I mean? We have the 06 pre-runner here. We're making this a little quick, y'all, because we have a little race to go to here. You know? And about five hours, right? And it's two hours away, so we got to leave here in about a few hours. Mm -hmm. we, ha we have the 2019 F350 Dually. You know, we got to have that Dooley King Ranch. To the right of it, we have our our 2020 F, F450. It's basically the tow rig for us. But, like this truck right here, I sold the fault. This is in Fallout's possession now. Right here, we have our 19 model, right? Mm hmm Yeah, okay. 20, uh, 2019 4th Gen Ram Mega Cab. If you don't have a Mega Cab, who are you? This ain't my truck, that's just, that's his first gen. We have the 05 Tacoma, or the Severara. We have the I military, oh, yeah. We have the military truck here, which is the, one of the recent purchases. We wanted to have, I wanted to have something unique. And the other thing that's going to be unique, don't y'all say it, because I'll both know what it is. It's going to be pretty sick. It, it's going to be pretty sick. But right here, we have uh... the little clap S10 here. And we have the little daily, like little Mali here, Malibu here. SS. Three car takeovers. Yeah. And on the inside here, if you've seen in the beginning of the video, we have the Nova, which is actually still being built. And we have the Fairmont, which we'll probably take to the race tonight, just because. Or 
Actually, we could probably throw a motor in it and just run how it is. Yeah, I think we just... Y'all get the one yeah. from the motor in there. Okay. But, uh... Okay. We got this. We got the little C10 we took to a car show. We did not do the lower. I don't know what happened here. Uh, oh, was I that don't know what I said in the last clip. But right here we have our C10 and the Fairmont. And we're actually getting the boys to go ahead and throw this car together. For right now, because we have a race here in a few minutes. Well, not in a few minutes. God, late. It's Months, in a few hours. son. No, it's Months. in a few hours. Oh, yeah. okay. It's in five. It's in five hours. But we gotta throw the motor in there. We're just gonna throw some headers on there. That's it. We're not gonna worry about anything else. We're just gonna shove it in there. Sounds so we're good. gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down, y'all, because we have a lot of work to do to get the car done. It's already wired. We just gotta throw the motor in there and send it. So we'll catch you next one. Later, boys.